A search by land and by air for Brian Laundry comes up empty again as investigators continue scouring a nature reserve in Florida. It has now been a week since he was last seen. And today, the heartbreak became official for Gabby Petito's family. A medical examiner confirmed the body in Wyoming over the weekend is hers, and the death is now ruled a homicide. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here in studio now with today's new developments. Dick. Well, Christina Maurice, the official cause of death will remain pending until final autopsy results are in, but it's likely investigators already have an indication of just how 22-year-old Gabby Petito died. Brian Laundrie's father entered his home tonight saying nothing as the hunt for his son goes on in a huge reserve in Florida. Searches are hampered by waist-deep water infested with alligators. We have multiple drone operators that have been sent out in numerous teams. Eight agencies are involved in the hunt covering a mass of 25,000 acres and tips are coming in from across the country. Even photos sent in taken 500 miles from the search area, but no confirmed sightings. Searchers are using ATVs, police dogs, dogs and helicopters. Why is it so hard to find someone under these circumstances? It's actually really hard to find someone, even if they want to be found out in the wilderness, let alone someone who's being deceptive. Chris Boyer of the National Association for Search and Rescue says a man on the run would likely wear camouflage, only move at night, and cover his tracks by walking along creeks, and he can move much faster than the authorities. He just has to be moving to wherever he's going. Searchers, as they walk along his path, have to be spending time looking behind every bush to see if he's there. There were new questions about an altercation the couple had in August and the police stop that followed. Gabby Petito told officers she was the aggressor, but a 911 caller told a different story. We drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. Domestic violence experts say victims often take the blame. This girl's terrorized. This is classic domestic abuse. He's terrorized her not to tell the cops that he was the aggressor. He was the slapper and the puncher. And it's so sad because she might be alive today. A major question for authorities, how long can Brian Laundrie hold out on the run? He's going to run out of supplies. He's going to want to talk to family. He's going to want to know information about where the search is going on, what the status is. Um, he's eventually going to have to surface somewhere. Now, remember, it was the laundry family that told police Brian had said he was headed to the reserve to take a hike. Of course, authorities know that could be a ruse on his part, and he could have gone elsewhere. Christina Maurice.